Oh, thanks. Merry Christmas to you two. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? No. What about that other gourd you have? Isn't that my present? Ryuji gave it to me as my present. It's special only sake that you can only have once a year. Well, can I have some? This is specially brewed only sake. It is too powerful for a mere human like you. I am not a mere human. I am the Hakurei Shrine Maiden. There's no sake I can't handle. Give me some of that. Okay, then. Remu, what happened? I need more of this stuff. Are you going to Emilia's party? Yeah, I'm going if only to get some food. How about you, Suika? Yes, I was invited, but can only go after two hours. This is to give everyone a chance to have some alcohol before me and Yuji come in and drink it all. I heard everybody's going to be at the party. Yeah, she wants to show off, but she won't even look at you if you aren't popular. Sweet, that makes me the person of honor. There's only one person of honor at these parties, and her name is Romilia Scarlet. In any case, I'm ready, so let's go. On, clown piece, we're going. You're inviting those two? Not clown piece, but Romilia invited her. She wants her to make a bonfire. As for On, it is Christmas, but I can't afford a present for anyone. I might as well do something nice for her. Oh, Miss Raymu, I don't need a present. Simply being a part of the Hakura family is all the present I need. Good, because that's cheap enough for me to give away. I'm part of the Hakura family too, right? No. Delicious dango for sale. Come get your festive dango here at Saren's Dango Stall. Please, I need some extra cash for the holidays. I heard her dango is pretty good. Yeah, but it doesn't compare to Ringo's. Her dango is even better. It's a bit more expensive, but it's worth it. She's over on the other side. Let's go get some. Alright, that's the last one. Sorry guys, but I'm closing early due to the holidays. My friend say Ron probably has more. You can get some from her. No one's dango compares to yours, Ringo. Yeah, your dango is the best. Come on guys, you're embarrassing me. How's business? The same as always. Not good enough. Even after relocating, people would rather go to your stall. Buying better ingredients didn't help at all. Now I don't have enough money to have Christmas dinner. Looks like I'm eating my own stock this year as well. I'll lend you some money if you need it. I don't want your money. Come on, Sayron. Get out of this slump you're in. How about instead of eating dinner all alone again this year, come to my house and we can celebrate Christmas together, like we used to, remember? Look, it's those two moon rabbits. Didn't they try to take over Jinsokyo years ago? They did, didn't they? Why are they still here? Are they still trying to take over? Don't buy any dango from them. I bet it has some kind of poison. Or maybe a spell to turn us into yokai. 
We're mole rabbits, not you kai. They are a type of yokai. Maybe earth rabbits, but we moon rabbits are purified. We're not the same. In any case, the haters are just a minority. Everybody else has welcomed us to Gensukia with open arms. Don't listen to those haters who put you down. I don't need Ringo's pity. I don't want her to lend me money or invite me to have Christmas with her alone. She is just pitying me. I bet she would rather be at a party than spend Christmas alone with me. What are you doing this Christmas? Oh, it's Christmas. Hello, how are you doing? All good. What do you want, Moon Rabbit? You think you're better than us because you come from the moon, don't you? I don't think I'm better than you or anyone. I lack the confidence to do so. You Moonies, always thinking you're better than us, you Kai. I may be from the moon, but I'm still a rabbit just like you. You think you're too good to be compared to an Earth Rabbit because the moon provide you. I bet you think all Earth Rabbits are dirty and nasty. It's not what you think. I don't look down on Earth Rabbits. I just want us to be friends. Go back to the moon. No Earth Rabbit likes your kind down here. You'll never be a part of Gensokia, Mooney. Why are you treating me so badly? I'm as much as part of Gensokia as any other rabbit. Didn't you hear her? Beat it, you Mooney. Hey, what do you think you are doing? Miss Inaba, we were just... I heard what you said. I'd expect this from the dumb humans, but to pick on your own kind. She's not a can. She's a moon rabbit. They think they're better than us. They don't deserve to live among us earth rabbits. How about you try saying that to my face? You were lucky it's the holidays. But once Christmas is over, you're going into overtime work. If you don't get out of here... Don't listen to them. Some rabbits are just so full of themselves. Yeah, I'll take care of them later. I didn't need your help. Hey, is that how you get thanks? I definitely didn't ask you for help. Don't get the wrong idea. We just wanted to help you. Don't even bother. I don't want help from anyone coming from Intei. Did you see what she said to me? How would I her? That's just how Siren is. She's a bit antisocial, but she's not so bad when you get to know her. I'm going to be mad all night, you know? We're here to attend Romilia's party, right? Just forget what happened and have a good time. Hi, Raisin. I see you are here to attend the party. But where is Arin? Lady Yagokuro didn't want to attend, so we came by ourselves. Alrighty then, come on in. I'm sorry, Tui, but you're not allowed in. You're on the do not invite list. The what list? Even though the party is open to all, she wants to keep troublemakers out. I'm sorry, but you can't enter. You better be joking. I want to join the party. There is an exception. If someone of good reputation can vouch for you, then I can allow you entry. Good, because we're the one attend if I don't. We are a team. So if I'm not invited, she's not invited. Isn't that right? Reason. <laughs> Thank you everyone for attending my Christmas Eve party.
I hope the festive environment will bring cheer and merriment to everyone here as we celebrate Christmas, and what better way to celebrate than by burning the wicker man behind me. I don't recall that being a Christmas tradition. And I don't recall what in your opinion. Anyway, since burning a wicker man with a human sacrifice is forbidden, I decided to simply do the alternative and burn it with the souls of millions instead. Now then, clown peace, if you will do the honors. I guess one of the workers was still inside, oh well. At least there will be barbecue. Hey Remo, how is it going? Alright, sorry for bothering you. So how are you enjoying the party? Aside from the nightmare inducing scream I heard earlier. It's not so bad. Very good, but where is your master? I didn't see you escorting her. They're going to be entertaining a guest tonight. That goes for me as well, so I'll be leaving soon. That's a pity. I wanted Jensokyo's most prominent to be in my party, but I guess it can't be helped. Though I do wonder why you bothered to come if you are to be summoned so soon. I'm not under orders to return. If anything, Lady Yagokoro and Lady Horaizen insisted I remained. But I feel guilty if I'm not there attending to our esteemed guest. I see. Well, you are a moon rabbit. After all, that's what you were bred for. I'm sorry, but did you just insult me? I'm just saying that most of the prominent members of Gensokyo usually come with an entourage. I didn't expect for the entourage itself to appear by themselves, but that's okay. You're free to attend for as long as you want. Just be sure to be home before curfew. Don't want to make your mommy mad, do we? Hey, put that back! Bite me. I'm fed up with Christmas already. I think I'll stay home all day tomorrow and not talk to anyone until Christmas is over. I'm so tired. I just want to get to bed. What is this? Hey there. We're not open yet. But don't worry, it'll be open for Christmas Day for all your holiday needs. Who are you? Someday, I'm going to be so prominent, they're going to stone anyone who asks that. Did you bought this monstrosity? Monstrosity! This is the 50th location of the Lunar Market Superstore, and we're going to open in time for Chimatomas! This land is a sanctuary for moon rabbits. You can't just build anything anywhere you want. Oh, but this land was up for grabs. Considering the previous incident, I was surprised that this area was not claimed. But I claimed this land. I even had it consecrated. It's my land. If you did get it consecrated, then something must have canceled it out. When I scouted this area, it was practically purified. Purified? Wait, I have a loner gem that purifies things. That must be it. You must have purified the land after you got it consecrated. Not before. Please, you have to give me this land back. This is supposed to be a safe haven for moon rabbits to not only protect us from impurity, but to be a safe space from the haters. Sorry, but that's not my problem. But hey, cheer up. I'll give you some coupons for all your trouble. No, this can't be happening. But I'm too tired to put up with this. I just want to go home and go to bed. Where's my house? House? I don't recall seeing a house. All there was here was this amateur-looking structure that looked like it had a billion housing violations. So, we tore it down and built a Chamada Bucks instead. Why is this happening to me? Not only is my business doing terrible, but now I lost my only home. Your business is doing terribly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. If only there was a goddess you can pray to every day, then perhaps she could bless your business, or better yet, give you a career opportunity. 
By owning a Luda Rainbow Superstore franchise location, you're being a part of the Tenkyu family. And by joining the cult of Tenkyu, you can enjoy the security that only a market goddess can provide for your business. Not all locations are available. Not valid with any other offer. Applicable taxes paid by franchisees. This does not include the 50% tithing. Must forsake any of all previous gods, with the exception of Kanako and the Maria Shrine. A joint venture of the Asaka Tenkyu Enterprise. You done told me you were 10 non girls on my grounds. Yes, little girl. Why don't you clean up before I like consecrated grounds with your demon jiggy? It didn't occur to me. I mean, shouldn't your power be resistant to purification? If I's a goddess, maybe. But I just made the all your mind. Can't you help me get my land back? Sorry, but my power ain't gonna compete with that of a goddess. Even if it's on low tier one, not to matter. Looks like you lost that land. Now, if you don't bother me, I'd like to get back to my lonely Christmas hell. So please be a so kind as to get out my property before I chop you into bits and have myself our Christmas wrap stew. Rima just finished the entire table reserved for her. Good. I told you that a single 50 foot long table was enough to satisfy her, but you better set up the next 100 tables. Yuyuko will be here any minute. We still need more time set up. In that case, I will greet her to distract her. In the meantime, prepare the trough. I'm going to need your name before you attend. My name is Siren. Oh, you're Siran. Well, I'm sorry, but Romilia put you in the band list. But I don't even know Romilia. Why would she ban me? I can answer that. You see, this party was made to show off my prowess to all of Gensokyo's prominent and elite, so I have to keep the troublemakers out of my property. But I'm not a troublemaker. I've never caused anyone any problems. Oh, that's right. There's actually a second condition to be banned from my party. No dorks or losers allowed, and I believe you qualify for both. Only cool kids allowed. You also smell like a poopy head. That's not fair, you don't even know me. You can't just pick and choose who you don't like randomly. I know you enough. You're that pathetic girl who tries to sell Dango in the village near the Sanzu River. I am not pathetic. I was a former Eagle Ravy. Yes, a reconnaissance unit, as in the lowest position in the military. But my job was to infiltrate. That's a very dangerous job. Probably because they were trying to get rid of you. But even if I invited you, you were just going to leave my party like the other moon rabbits anyway. Other moon rabbits? Ryzen was here but she just left not too long ago. Ringo was also here but she left before the party even began. You invited Ringo? I ordered a large amount of Dango and allowed her to stay, but she said she didn't want to attend. She's a rather extroverted rabbit who can hold a conversation, so I don't mind her staying, since you're her friend. Ask her to attend the festivities. You know where she lives, right? Convince her to come and if she vouches for you, then I can allow you to attend. That way people will simply think you are her pet. You know what? I don't want to attend anymore. <laughs> oh, are you all right? Have you lost your mommy? <coughs> Someone help! This Yuka is trying to eat my daughter. Wait, I was trying to comfort her. Help, help! The Yuka tried to kidnap my child! Humans don't respect me. Not even Earth Rabbits either. My business is doing terribly, and I lost my home. And now my cart with all my belongings is gone. I'm no homeless and penniless. Looks like I have no choice but to go to Ante for shelter, or maybe stay with Ringo. No, I won't do either. I did left the moon just to depend on others, especially Aaron and especially Ringo. I'm a former Eagle Rabbi. I was trained to survive. I will overcome this and prove to everyone that I'm not a weakling. 
I'll prove them all wrong and then I'll get some respect. Thank goodness you woke up. What happened? Where am I? You're at Ente and you fell into a frozen lake. But I heard your metal SOS right before you took the plunge. Thank goodness I was in the vicinity at the time. I managed to pull you out before you sank. Why did you even bother? I didn't need your help. I could have gotten out on my own. I don't need you or any other Lonarian's help. And I didn't ask to be taken to a &T. Why don't you mind your own business? I see you're still in shock. You should get some rest. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Thank goodness. When I heard the news, I came rushing in here. There was no need to rush. And there was no need for anyone's help. I could've gotten out myself. But in any case, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm not interested in anyone's hospitality, especially that of a Lonarian. I'm leaving. You really need to rest. You fell into freezing water. But I don't want to be here. I don't want to be with these Lonarians. Come on, Tehran. These are our friends. They are not my friends. Erin and Kagia. They only see rabbits as their servants, just like how they see Reason. Hey, why didn't you tell me you became homeless and got robbed? But how did you know that? You were close enough to my home that I could read your mind. At best, it should have been feigned. You can't possibly have hearing that sensitive. I went out and looked for the guy who took your stuff. I didn't find him, but I found your cart. They took a lot of your valuables, but at least I found your mallet. I don't need that thing anymore. It's just a tool representing my suffrage to the Lonarians. Say Ron, did something happen? I know you're down on the dumps, but I've noticed lately you've been very crabby. Well, we all can't be like you. You were always so popular. It doesn't matter if it's the loner capital or Gensukyu. You're always popular no matter where you go. But I'm just a dork and a loser, just like Remilia said. Speaking of which, why aren't you at Remilia's party? She specifically asked for you. I don't care for those fancy parties. Besides, don't we always have Christmas together? I'd rather spend Christmas alone with you. So you can pity me. I get it now. This has all been just an act, hasn't it? Poor old Siren can't make any friends because she's a dork. That's probably why I was an infiltrator when I was in the Eagle Reba unit. While you got the cushy job of informant, my teeth would have been of no loss. All right, knock it off, Siren. I don't want you to talk like that. Just leave me alone, okay? What about our Christmas dinner? Then I told you to stop pitying me. Enough with the charade. There's nobody to impress here, so cut it out already. Just go to Remilia's party, or anyone's Christmas dinner. I'm sure everyone will invite you if you just walk in, unlike me who nobody cares about. I can see you've been to a lot, but if you won't come home, then at least stay here. You may not have a good opinion about Lenarians, but Aaron and Kaguya are not our enemies, they're our friends. 
As soon as I get better, they're going to demand payment and make me do all sorts of chores. Just like how it was on the moon, just like how they treat reason. If that's the case, why don't I just go back to the moon? Stop saying such crazy things. I lost everything here, the paradise. That was Gensoki was now turning into a nightmare. Not even Gensoki itself wants me here. It's a full moon tonight. I think I'll take the Kane passageway and return to the moon. You can't go back to the moon. None of us can. We're fugitives. If you go back, they'll execute you. I don't need to live in the loner capital. I can just stay in the outskirts. I'll develop the moon rabbit sanctuary somewhere away from the capital. It will be a safe space for all rabbits on the moon to be protected from our oppressors. You know very well there's few places to inhabit on the moon. Not to mention most moon rabbits wouldn't follow you. They're complacent being servants to the Lunarians. That wasn't our case, which is why we left. Then I guess I was wrong. I guess I was always meant for servitude. I'll keep this safe for you when you get better. Then I'll prepare your room in my house. I mean it. I'm going back to the moon. There's nothing here for me anymore. By morning, you won't find me here in Gensuki. Aaron said that you'll be fine with a good night's rest. Now give me time to prepare our Christmas dinner. It sure would be nice to have a nice quiet dinner together like we used to. Because, you know, you're my best friend. I overheard. She's not serious about going to the moon, is she? Relax. Even she knows that she can't go back to the moon. She's just in a winter slump, that's all. Just give her some time and she'll be back to herself. I hope I'm not being disrespectful, but why are you her friend? We didn't really talk back on the moon, but I tried to be her friend here. But she just seems so awkward around people. It's really difficult to talk to her due to her social distancing. I'm sorry to say, but I've pretty much given up on being her friend. I'm her friend because of those very reasons. Nothing but lies. Nobody wants to be my friend on the moon. Here on Earth, I'm nothing. And I'm sure even if I build a sanctuary on the moon, nobody will care. If that's the case, then I might as well go through with what I said and live in the outskirts of the moon. It's a full moon tonight, so the Cain passageway should be accessible. Once I start feeling better, I'll take it and leave Gensokyo forever. Goodbye, Gensokyo. Goodbye, Ringo. She wasn't submerged for that long. She should be fully recovered by tomorrow. I guess it was a good thing you left the party so early, otherwise she would be in critical condition. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? But I suppose you want to go back. I can't go back. I have to serve Lady Kishin. I can entertain her by myself. You should just go out and enjoy yourself. I really, that's subservient. What brought this on? At the party, Romilia said some mean things. Siren also said a couple of scathing things. I guess you still are carrying the burden of servitude you received back on the moon. But over time, you will soon learn to appreciate your freedom. Just like those two other moon rabbits. You mean Ringo and Siren? Ringo doesn't need an explanation. But Siren, by the sounds of it, seems like she's troubled. But the fact that she left her position on the moon and became fugitives like us is not something many can do. There's hidden strengths in that girl. But looks like that has ended for her. She's thinking of going back to the moon. That can't be good. Going back to the moon would be a death sentence. She's thinking of living in the outskirts of the lunar capital. In other words, into the nothingness of the moon. Because if she doesn't starve to death, then either the Lunarians are going to find her, or she will be at the mercy of that wraith, Junko. Lady Iago Koro. I don't ask for many favors, but is there nothing you can do to help her? You really think she's going back to the moon? She's down on her luck here in Gensokyo, and even though I don't know her personally, I know for a fact she's capable of taking drastic measures. 
that's the reason why she was an infiltrator. Other than being seen as cannon fodder, that is. As a former Lunarian, I don't see why I should bother with a mere moon rabbit. But I am a former Lunarian. The ways of the moon are in the past. I am more of a humble doctor now, one who takes care of her patients, be it human, yokai, or moon rabbit. But talking to her won't do any good if you and Ringo could not convince her, let alone myself who she finds as an enemy. In that case, go out and bring Clown Peace here. You have an idea already. My imagination has already been racing with a plan and it requires the assistance of a few characters. But you have to act fast because Siron knows about the Cayenne Passageway. If she drifts off to sleep, she may unconsciously access it. I'll see if Sagumi can talk to Dorami about halting her progress. But in the meantime, go get Clown Peace. I'm on it. Please, leave me alone. I don't want to be victimized anymore. I already decided to go back to the moon. Why do you continue to torment me? No, can't run away anymore. I'm at their mercy. It's no use resisting. But please be gentle. You want me to wear that, but it hardly covers anything, but I guess I have no choice. No, don't touch my tail, it is very sensitive. Every time someone touches my tail, it makes me tingle. <laughs> oh, Dormy, you saved me from that nightmare I was having. Right, nightmare. Putting that aside, I heard you're calling. You want access to the Kayan passageway. Yes, I was trying to access it because I'm trying to go back to the moon. That's right. It's a full moon, making it the right time to access it. But it's also Christmas, a time to spend with friends and family. And the last time I checked, you have none to speak of on the moon. I have no Ningensukio either. I'm truly alone in this universe. I might as well just go back to where I came from and live there all by myself. If that's how you truly feel, then I can give you access. But I was asked a favor by your friends to convince you to turn back. According to your records, you are too shy to talk to others. And even when you are approached, you shun them away. You were also bullied back on the moon, and even now, treated unfairly in Gensokyo. It's no wonder that you are having nightmares. Your anxiety is affecting your dreams, causing you to believe the world is against you. Until your sexual frustrations kick in, which turns your nightmare into ours. Seriously, you need a boyfriend. But have you ever thought for a second that perhaps you are wrong? That there is someone who might love you and you are pushing them away? Before you can return to the moon, come with me and let me show you a vision. Just imagine what life would be in Gensokyo without you. I can show you this vision using my powers. But this is just ain't hey. Not quite. It's Christmas morning, but you left for the moon the night before. Look and see how Aaron and Raisin handle the big news. Looks like we were too late. I wish she wasn't so hasty. I now regret saying I gave up on her. I just wish I had one more chance to convince her to stay. There is no point in lamenting. Siron made her decision, and we'll just have to live with it. I have to go and get her back. She's not going to survive on her own. You know you can't do that. You're actually more of a priority than she is to the Lunarians. If you go back to the moon, you'll never be able to come back to Gensokyo. 
But there has to be something I can do. I know you're hurt, but there's nothing you can do. If you couldn't convince her here, then you won't be able to on the moon. I can't believe that reason is taking this so seriously. I would thought she wouldn't care about me after all the times I told her to back off. She's not the only one. Let us follow her. I'm sorry that your friend is gone. I'm sorry too. But don't worry, she will come back eventually. I mean, can't she take her way back home? She can. But I'm more worried she will be captured before she had a chance. I'm just hoping nothing bad can come from this. But it's Christmas. Don't be too sad. Let's just enjoy our time here. Oh, and guys, it's Christmas time, so let's enjoy our time off. We'll also dedicate this Christmas to our friend Sarah and hoping she will come back to us safely. That's one down. Hmm, yeah, I think there's more to go. Maybe the rest of the moon rabbits will see this as an example and go back to the moon where they belong. Or maybe Siren will tell the Moonies to come and pick up the others. Yeah, that would be great. And then we wouldn't have to deal with those snobs thinking they are better than us Earth Rabbits. As much as I feel sorry for Reason, the Earth Rabbits just don't care for us. But surely you have more allies in other places. Let's see what is happening where you usually set up shop. Well, it's the same as always. Wait, is that Ringo? I thought she was taking a break for Christmas. Why is she working today? And why do you think she was taking a break in the first place? As I recall, you two were going to have Christmas dinner. Maybe she doesn't want to go to an empty house and be all alone. That's probably why she decided to sit up her stall today. There is no way she would wait for me after I told her off. Besides, if she really was alone, she would probably go to another party or someone else's house. Is that so? Then let us skip a few hours and see where she goes during Christmas night. Now where are we? Where do you think? This is Ringo's house. What is this? Is she crying? Wait, those are photos from us back in the moon. You used to take selfies of each other, remember? We did, but that was before I realized she was pitying me, considering that I was everyone's dormant back on the moon, and she was one of the most popular girls at the military base. There was no reason for her to be friends with me. The only thing I can think of is that she thought of me as charity. She just wanted to make herself look good in front of everybody. In the end, she was faking it for her own gain. But look at the smiles she's giving in these photos. Look at the tears on her face. Does that look fake to you? If anything looks fake, it's the smile on your face. Hi, I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. Merry Christmas to you, too. How about instead of sulking here, why not have dinner with me and Lady Yagokoro? You're always welcomed at Ean Tay. Ah, thanks, but I better be here when Seiran returns. Once she realizes that she can live on the moon, she'll surely change her mind. It's still a full moon. I bet that she'll be here any moment now. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I can't wait to see Siren again. There's still a few days left of the full moon. She'll surely come back in a few days. She just has to. I still don't believe any of this. There's no way that Ringo would be that attached to me. She's just acting. It has to be. I've seen enough. Get me out of here. So I take it you're not convinced? 
Not at all. In fact, I think you made all that up. I think that was just a weird dream you made me go through. I did say it was a vision, but it is by no means false. You will be missed by your friends for certain. In any case, I have not changed my mind. Take me to the moon and let Jinsuke forget about me. Very well, if that's what you wish. I didn't figure it'd be so quick, but I guess this is what I wanted anyway. And now here I am in the moon, all alone. I guess I'm just going to start my life all over, this time without the haters and bullies. But also no friends. Hi. Clone Peace, what are you doing here? I was sent here by Raysen to convince you to go back. So it was Reason. I bet she was the one who told Dormi as well. Well, I don't care what a Lunarian like Reason thinks. So whatever it is she told you to tell me, you might as well forget about it. I wasn't told to tell you anything. She just told me to get the attention of the military. What do you mean? The Lunarians are paranoid of fairies ever since Mama tried to invade the Lunar Capital. Once they saw me they sent out a search party. It won't be long before they find you. Why did you do that? Oh no! I better hide! They may not come this far. I'll stay above the Sea of Tranquility until things calm down. That won't do you any good, because then you'll have to face Auntie. Your auntie? Auntie is very angry with the Pinalians. She won't show you any mercy. You're finally awake, thank goodness. Reason, what are you doing on the moon? You're not on the moon, you're back in Jinsokyo. The Lunarians captured and imprisoned you, but you managed to escape and return to us. What are you talking about? I was just on the moon before I blacked out. The Lunarians have returned to Jinsokyo and are taking back all moon deserters. They even managed to find Inte and have taken Lady Yagakuro and Lady Horizon. They took Eren and Kakuya, but how could this have happened? How did they manage to pull this off? You gave them all the information they needed. You were tortured for the information. That's impossible. I never entered the loner capital. Even if they did capture me, I would never. Wait, why are you helping me? If I betrayed Gensokyo, shouldn't you be mad? I don't blame you. Besides, the fact that you escaped and returned to us means you didn't betray us. You're still on our side, and I'm actually glad that you're safe. Let go of me! I'm not going anywhere! Oh no. They found, hey? You won't get away with this! I forget! And the leader of the rabbit. And that includes all the rabbits as well. Just you wait, I will kill every one of you! Lady Yagokoro told me to lay low, but I can't stand it. Rimu Marissa and Sane are already in the fray, and more of our allies will join us. Stay here where it's safe. I'm going to save our friends. Is this really happening? But I can't recall anything. But it must be true. Jensuki has been invaded. And it's all my fault. Oh no! Ringo!
Say, Ron, is that you? Yeah, it's me. When I heard about the invasion, I had to come and check on... You have no idea how worried I was about you. I'm so glad you're alright. Are you serious? You'd realize that this invasion is practically my fault, right? I don't know the details, but I'm just glad you're okay. You're not mad either? No, of course not. I just had enough of this. This invasion is my fault because I gave them all the information they needed. I'm practically a traitor. But what happened exactly? I don't know. I went to the moon and then blacked out, only to end up back here. But that's not the point. The point is, why do you care so much about me? I was bullied in the moon for my shabby behavior. My life here in Gensukyu didn't turn out for the better, and I keep pushing people away because of my frustration. Yet people keep trying to comfort me, even after all this, especially you who should be the angriest of them all. Ringo, why do you forgive me so easily? Why do you want to be my friend when you can make friends with anyone else? Why do you want to make friends with a loser like me? Because we're not so different, say Ron. What? Remember a few years ago, when we first came to Skin Tokyo? I decided to stay here instead of going back to the moon. No other moon raven would dare disobey orders, but you decided to stay with me. What does that have to do with this? Think about it. Why didn't you go back to the moon at that time? You didn't have to stay with me, but you chose to do so. I still don't understand. Could you do this? You were supposed to be on our side. What are you complaining about? You said so yourself. Ringo was never your friend to begin with, and Gensokyo did you ill, or did you not say this? But thanks to you, we Lunarians managed to get our revenge. Now, we can take over Gensokyo. Return to us, Saren. I will make sure you will be forgiven for your transgressions, and rewarded for your service to the Lunar Capital. You will get the adoration of the Watatsuki sisters, your fellow moon rabbits will praise you as a hero, and you will receive the respect that has been long overdue on the moon. You're wrong! I don't hate Gensokyo! I love Gensokyo! This is the paradise I've been dreaming of since I was on the moon! And even though I complained about some people hating me, I know for a fact that the majority are kind and wonderful. But you don't care. You Lunarians don't care. You even betrayed Auntie. They never held any grudges against you and welcomed you. Aaron, Kagei, and Reason didn't deserve this, especially Ringo. You didn't have to kill her. How dare you kill my best friend? Then die. Where am I now? Am I dead? You can relax, Iran. You're back in the real world. Your visions are over now. Over? What do you mean I was shot? I had a feeling you were overdoing it, Dormy. But as you said, words weren't getting to her. Perhaps seeing the consequences will be the thing to convince her. What are you talking about? And you, didn't you just shoot me? Sagume didn't do a thing to you. It was all a dream. A dream? We figured that our attempts to talk to you were not working. So I created a concoction that will give you a hallucination of things that were to come. My own patented dream pills, infused with Ryzen's insanity-inducing ability along with the assistance of Dormy's dream power. This was the medicine you were given earlier that gave you those visions. Or at least I hoped. Obviously I couldn't test it. You may feel a slight burning pain when you urinate, by the way. 
You mean I never made it to the moon? I did send you to the moon, but had Clown Peace keep an eye on you, while Sagume came to send you back when you blacked out. So that nightmare I had of Gensoku being invaded didn't happen. I'm sorry to make you go through that. But at the same time, we wanted to let you know that you are loved here. I wanted to prevent you from going to the moon for practical reasons, but at the same time, I felt you were better off here in Gensokyo. I know times are tough, but you have allies ready to help you. You're among friends, Siron. That was what we were hoping you would learn from this. So it was all a dream. In that case, there's just one thing I need to know, but I have to speak to a certain someone. Hey, you're here earlier than expected, but shouldn't you be resting? Ringo, I had a dream the night before about you. Something good, I take it? You were shot and died. Oh, never mind then. It's a long story, but I went from the moon and back thanks to Aaron's shady drug. I dreamed a horrible alternative reality where Gensuki was taken over, and all my friends were killed by the Lunarians, but my mental well-being and my lifelong trauma is not important right now. I need to apologize to you. Apology? For what? Everything was going wrong with me lately, and I kept pushing people away when I should have been asking them for help. I guess my experience on the moon never left me, but I think it's time I forget the past and move toward a better future. But not only that, I must confess that I have been jealous of you for a long time. Jealous of me? Yes, I was always jealous of you, Ringo. I was jealous about your outgoing personality and popularity. I was jealous about your skills that got you promoted to a high rank. I was jealous that your boobies were bigger than mine and you could get a boyfriend. Those things mean nothing, Seiron. You don't have to be jealous of me for that. And I take it the last one was some strange compliment. The point I'm trying to make is that I was wrong. I shouldn't be jealous of you. Because in the end you were always there with me. And I failed to see that until now. Will you forgive me? What's to forgive? You're just being the same old Seiron I've always known. Don't worry about it. After all this time, after all that has happened, you still want to be my friend. I never understood why you would stand by my side even after abandoning the moon. Why are you my friend, Ringo? The reason why you're my best friend is because I was destined to be your best friend. That's not exactly the answer I wanted. But does it really matter? You're my best buddy, and that's all that should really matter. Maybe instead of asking silly questions, maybe you should just accept that we're destined to be best friends forever. That's all there is to it. I don't get it, but after everything I've gone through, maybe it's time I finally... And look at you, you haven't recovered yet. How about instead of worrying about silly things, how about you take a rest while I get Christmas dinner ready? Oh yes, Christmas dinner. It's been a few years, hasn't it? Christmas, Erin. Kaguya, you may want to freshen up. Just because it's Christmas doesn't mean I have to be so formal. Besides, I did an oopsie and forgot to do laundry. But that's okay. You and Raisin are used to see me walk around in my panties. Oh, Lei Kyushin. Hello, Princess. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about I freshen up a bit? <laughs> we 
Would you like more tea, Lady Iago Koro? Grayson, why don't you relax and enjoy the holiday? You don't always have to be available to serve us. But what if a patient comes in? They'll need to be treated. I can treat anyone that comes in just fine. Just go out and have a good time. No, it's fine. Let her keep serving us. After all, serving is all she can really do. She doesn't have any ambitions or dreams to fulfill. There is no other purpose for her. In fact, why don't I take her back with me so she can resume her duties to the Lunarians? You know, maybe you're right. I think I will take the day off. This should help you recover much quicker. You'll be back to normal in a few days. This isn't going to give me any more red dreams, is it? Don't worry. There are no strange ingredients, and the concoction you took the night before should wear off eventually. But I still feel woozy, and my tummy hurts, and it hurts when I pee. It should be out of your system in a few hours. Just be sure to avoid any alcohol. That goes for fatty foods as well. And spider eggs. Don't eat spider eggs. Make sure to eat plenty of grass as well. Grass is helpful. And don't squat either. For some reason that aggravates it further. And don't get too close to the fireplace. You'll end up boiling your insides. It is also preferable if you sleep on your stomach to help alleviate any stress. Oh, and you're going to get violent diarrhea at some point. Are you done? No. I'll write you a list later. By the way, are you in your period? Or do you mind having your ovaries destroyed? I guess I can't be too mad, I was being stubborn and kept pushing people away, but after being mentally damaged by those horrible visions, that will give me nightmares for years to come, I now realize the error of my ways, that's why I want to apologize, I'm sorry I judge everyone at Auntie, especially you reason, I'm sorry I say terrible things about you. And I want to apologize too, I should have never said I gave up on you. I'm just happy that we are friends now. You know, that's for the best. I believed Sagume has something to say. My apologies for making you go through that. I just wanted to help Erin with her machinations. Do not be misled by my dream self. She tends to shoot first and ask questions later. I just want to let you know that despite being a Lunarian, I have no plans to take anyone back to the moon, and I have no animosity with anyone in Jinsakyo. So please accept my offer of friendship. Yes, I understand and I forgive you. I know you are someone I can trust- Hello, Doctor. My fantasies of being a moon rabbit continue to persist. I am even thinking of buying that overpriced rabbit fur suit on- Ignore that last part. I forgot to delete it. It's shame that you had to lose your home. Yes, but it's okay. I can always find a new spot to build the Moon Rabbit Sanctuary. Yeah, you'll find a new place. Though I'm mad at Chimata for having to resort to this. I'm not too mad. Besides, I'm sure that karma will see justice serve. What do you mean? I just have a feeling, that's all. I must you be open during Christmas. Every other store is closed today. That's exactly it. With every other store closed, we're in an advantage situation. We're the only choice when it comes to their shopping needs. That means more profit for me. And you get the privilege of another workday for your favorite goddess. But we've only had three customers today. Give it some time. We just opened. We opened six hours ago. You made me get up early in the morning for three customers. Calm down. It's not like you have any plans today. You have no friends. Remember? Thank you. Shan, what is going on? We're supposed to be hanging out today. Why are you working on Christmas? I have no choice since Dune sold me to Chimita as part of their partnership deal. 
What kind of terrible person makes someone work during Christmas? Christmas isn't even an original Gensakyo holiday, so humbug to that. Come on, Shian, you're hanging out with me today. Shian is going to remain here until the work day is over. You're not taking my property anywhere. You can't hold her hostage like this. I'm taking her with me. Are you aware that I'm a goddess? Are you aware that I'm a celestial? A celestial? Have you heard about our franchise program? How would you like a lunar rainbow superstore location up in heaven? Thank you. You owe me some money. Hey, no homeless allowed in my store. You the owner of this here, Shindy? Well, according to our contract, you owe me a whole bunch of chitterlings from my consecration services. I didn't order any such thing. And even if I did, I wouldn't want it done by someone that looks like they just rummaged through my garbage bins. Shion, is this your cousin or something? I know that. That cousin was done by the previous owner. Little blue-haired Peter kind of bun bun girl, nobody meet. Then deal with her and get out of my store. You're stinking up the place. It's bad enough I gotta deal with Shian's lice problem. Now listen here, little lady. That contract don't say what kind of creature that I asked for my daily five human toes. That contract clearly states, to the owner of this here name to whom it may concern. That means that whoever owns this land has to oblige by the contract here, here. That contract was signed by that blue-haired loser, and I'm not talking about Shein here. Deal with her, not me. But wait a minute, aren't you the goddess of markets? Yeah, what about it? Then it's your job to uphold that contract since you own this land now, don't you think? After all, even this here land here was clearly owned by that blue-haired bun bun, and you ain't gonna honor that contract that was in days before, then you stole this land from Ona. I didn't do any such thing. The land was purified. It was clear of all responsibility. That includes that contract. Isn't your whole thing about possession and accountability? Stop making excuses and take responsibility like you're always telling us to. I had enough of this. I want all you troublemakers to leave my store. You are banned. Except for you, Shion, get back to work. Now wait just a gosh darn kind of ticket hunt a minute here. I says to you that don't take kindly to folks who bring my contacts. I am the goddess of markets and exchange. By my whim, I can cancel any legally binding obligation, including that poor excuse of a napkin you call a contract. By my power, I declare that contract nullified. Let's see you, a mere yukai, beat that. Yeah, that's true. I'm just a mere bitty of mama compared to you. I suppose another goddess decided that they had enough of your town foolery, like say, a goddess of misfortune and poverty or some such. One who's been pushed to her limits is about to splurge all that pen of rage of hers. Bet you've done that don't happen. You've been wishing you still know and board my contract. I don't suppose you know how to create a sanctuary for your store, do ya? Wait! How to your services? Time, but I've done work in the holidays. I can see that you are quite miffed about working during Christmas. So, how about I take it easy on you for today? And instead of a 10 minute lunch break, you can have a 15 minute lunch break. Well, if it isn't Siren, the one who failed to bring Ringo back to my party, you had one job and you couldn't even do that. You can't even be a good doormat when needed. Maybe you should change your occupation to footstool instead. I'm no longer mad about being rejected from your party, nor do I care about your insults. That is why I'm willing to forgive you. You forgive me? Oh, isn't that nice? That's the first step to being a loyal lapdog. The next step is kissing my feet. Keep at it, and you'll be promoted to kissing my ring. Then perhaps you'll have the privilege of kissing my ass. You know, you are more powerful, influential, and popular than me. I may not have any of those things, but you know what I do have? Being able to walk under the sun without turning to ash. Mr. S wait for me!